Hey guys, so in this video we're going to make some improvements and fixes. It's always a good idea to check your game once in a while and to see if there is some bugs or anything that needs fixing. Uh, one thing I have noticed is if you were to open your inventory and click on something, your player loses focus. So once you close the inventory, you can rotate with your mouse. You have to click on something. And this is a small issue as well, but it's something we need to fix for later. So what you can do is go to your player blueprint uh, in event graph and here before the set game is paused we will drag and uh, set input mod game and UI. Uh, the widget we're going to be focusing on is the inventory reference, so inventory widget got the reference, drag it, get it, and uh, then get play controller as well. So this will set focus to inventory as well. And then once we close the inventory, we set input mode to game only, which will return the focus to the player. Uh, you can also make it look a little bit nicer, alt click here, copy the play controller, copy it here, we need one more here, compile and save. Now one more thing, this tab was more for like testing purposes but realized it will cause us some issues further down the way so just delete it and let's get the classic keyboard I input for inventory. Press. Uh, so since we're pausing the game, don't forget to check execute when paused as well, otherwise it won't close the inventory. And now when you go to the game and you pressed on anything in the inventory and you close the inventory, you got the full focus on the player. So that's one issue, uh, then we need to change our inventory icon. We need to change it into button because we're going to be using it to equip items. So go ahead and open your third person, blueprints, widgets and inventory icon. And in here we need to change this inside border. So this one, not the outside one. Just the inside one we need to change it to button. So if you right click on it you could replace it with button but usually it's not here on the selection so what you can do is type in button here, press on it and then again right click on border, replace with and you got replace with button here. Now um, there's probably some weird padding issue so just type in padding on the button. Don't change the first one just change the normal padding to zero and press padding to one. Uh, also need to change canvas panel uh, slot yeah, and align it horizontally and vertically. Change the padding to zero. And now what we need to do is in the button we need to style it a little bit better because if you open the game then you can see it's very bright just a bit flashy so go to appearances style and normal uh, we need to change uh, the draw us rounded box to image we change it on a hover and we change it on a pressed as well I will get rid of the outline that the button has and it won't be rounded corners. Now change the tint to something darker like here Then copy this so right click on the tin copy and paste it into Howard hmm. didn't copy copy and paste and then just put it slightly lighter and now since I don't want to have a different color for Howard and pressed again because 
again it's going to be very flashy so copy this color from Howard and paste it in the pressed now this is done uh, we can also make the outside border a little bit darker almost black you can uh, obviously style it however you want this is just how am I doing it for a video now if you can see it looks a little bit better you can also hover over the icons but as you can see the border we created in the inventory is overlapping these and it's different color so what we're going to do is copy the outside border color go to your widget inventory widget and in here the border surrounding the inventory grid we change the color we paste it here and we need to make it slightly bit bigger so padding is wrong it needs to be same on all all of the sides so make it five and now since padding is five make it 10 pixels bigger so 610 610 what that will do is give us nice border on the outside same as we got between the slots so that looks much better and now if you pre pick up some items as well you can press on them and we can use that later perfect another issue we can fix is i mentioned this before but in a player blueprint in pick up item uh, here after we searching if we found the item if you haven't found the item and we need to add a new one to the inventory we need to check if we got inventory space so press b for branch and we're going to check if uh, the inventory um, so get inventory from here get inventory to length and if the length equals and just in case put is larger as well so it's greater or equals the inventory size that means we got more items than we got the in inventory size for and we just say print string inventory is full And if it's not larger, then we can pick up the item. This one is just for now, so we can see it in the corner of the screen. Uh, but later on, we can create some nice notifier. Compile this and save. Another issue we have is in the inventory, in the inventory widget, where we're creating the icons. I mentioned this before, but if you don't have any items in the inventory it still tries to pull the information from the inventory array and add it to the widget and if you check your output log you would have some warnings here that it's trying to access the index 4 for example from inventory and it doesn't have any items in there and we don't want these warnings to be generated so what you can do to fix this is drag all this back we create a new branch here uh, we won't be setting the item info here rather we will drag from return value and set item info after so we can do it after branch and now we need to check if the index here is greater or equals inventory length so inventory length so that means if the index we're looping through and we're assigning to the icons is larger than the um, than the length of the items in the inventory that means we won't be assigning if it's true we won't be assigning the item info so true you just connect it to add child to grid if it's false we set it we set the item info. Item info we still need to set from here. 
and this way it won't generate a warning. I know it's look a bit messy and it's starting to get a little bit complicated, but this will fix all the issues we will have later. So I can just compile this and save. And now what we can do is also in the inventory in the inventory icon the count that we have doesn't really look nice change the color for now to red so we can see it and let's just make justification to align text to right side that way it will always go from the right let's make it a little bit smaller make the font smaller as well so from 24 we only need like maybe 16 yeah there we go and i don't want to have it as close to the edge so maybe do position x and do minus 5 because we got it anchored to the right side so that will move it here uh, right if you looked at it now let's see uh, we need to spawn more iron axes those ones we got max stack set for three so pick them up and now that looks a little bit better just make it make it white again just maybe a little bit grayish yeah much nicer and we can also make it cursive, so make it italic. Perfect. And then what else can we fix? We got this done, we got inventory. Right, I think that's it. Perfect. So in the next video we can continue, you know, maybe create some equipment slots and stuff like that so i'll see you in the next one